Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and today I am going to be discussing a very important matter Especially for my black folks out there. Okay, but um Shit Today I'm going to be discussing an important matter and Really, I mean like it's obvious. It's like right here We're gonna be talking about natural hair and specifically these are some do's and don'ts of natural hair because honey honey some of y'all need them um really i'm like you know my target audience is really like i'm like really my target audience is like you know everybody that's just you know i'm like that is natural and everything i mean but like if you're on this video just because you curious or you bored or anything else then you know hello I honestly think that people really need these do's and don'ts because I see some of y'all walking around with, you know, your hair is just in stress. It is. And it just needs to be fixed. Pronto. So I am going to be discussing these do's and don'ts with you. I'm not going to try to keep this long and stuff, but you know, it's so many things to natural hair. It's just like, you gotta get on them. So like, you. Okay, so I'm not gonna be doing don'ts first and do's last because I tried to do that in my other uh, video when I was shooting this video before and it did not work. It did not. It was just like such a handful and that was that just made me not want to edit it no more. I really need my nails done. My first don't is to do not wash your hair too much. Now, I know y'all might want to get all the shit out of there and good and whatever might be in there. You know, you think you might have too much stuff in your hair or whatever the case may be. And you always think you need to wash your hair all the time. But, honey, no, you, you don't. You don't need to wash your hair all the time. That's not the case. You don't need to do it. For me, I wash my hair bi-weekly. So, that means I wash my hair every two weeks. You know, I found I found that out that that works best for me and everything. But you know, some people wash their hair, you know, every end of the week maybe, you know, or like me bi-weekly, or they might wash their hair once a month or something. I'm like, it's just whatever works for you. But you don't need to wash your hair like every two damn days. It's just not worth it. It's just not something you need to do. It can dry your scalp and it can dry your hair. We do not need dry hair, and we do not need dry scalp. Otherwise, you can say hello to dandruff and breakage. Do use ingredients that stimulate hair growth and strengthen your hair. You want products that nourish your hair and are doing the best for your hair. Like y'all, like for real, y'all want y'all want products that nourish your hair and do like the utmost best for your hair. Like I'm like just because this girl over here might have something that works for her and shit and it's just like oh my god my hair grew so fast with this product or this boy over here might you know have this luscious fro and, he, and he's just like use this coconut oil that's just been working for him and all that and stuff no honey no get some products that work for you no 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 get some products that work for you you, you, you. It's your hair. Everybody's hair is different, so that's why you need to get products that stimulate your hair growth and nourish your hair. Period. So, y'all just need to pay attention to what products are working for y'all and stick to them. Do get regular trims. Now, I'm not talking about trim your hair every day because no ma'am. Uh, and I'm not talking about trim your hair every couple of days. No, like, you know, trim your hair probably like, I know people get their hair like trim maybe once a month or, you know, every three months, every six months, a year. Me personally, I get my hair trim, you know, every year. If not, like, well, like, you know, like once a year, like or either I just get mine cut, you know, every six months because I'm like, that's just what, that's just what works for me and it's keeping my hair growing. Don't sacrifice your hair for length. That's, that's not, that's not going to work, you know, because then you're just going to have a whole bunch of 
full that you gotta deal with. You don't want these ends because bad ends cause breakage. If you keep your bad ends, you know, I mean like most likely, you know, your hair is gonna start, you know, <laughs> you better stop all the way up the strand until your hair is just damaged completely. Yikes. Do avoid high tension hairstyles just because you know the simple fact, I mean like you don't want hairstyles that is just like so damn tight and and just on your scalp and stuff. Cause I know I know some people have had braids. I even had braids too. That is just like they were so tight. They had gave me bumps on my edges and all that other bull crap and all that. You know, it's just like it's, it's it's not the wave. It's not it. Don't get high tension hairstyles. You know, it's okay to you know have braids and all that or any other hairstyle, but just make sure you don't you know probably wear them too long or whatever the case may be. Just you know, mm -hmm. do wear protective hairstyles and hydrate them while wearing them. Protective hairstyles are literally like and like it's in the name. They protect your hair. Protective hairstyles literally just. You know, it puts less strain on your hair. I hate doing shit and not perfecting. And it causes less tension. Some protective hairstyles I do are braids and twists. Sometimes I do braid out. Sometimes I do twist out. Sometimes I might just put my hair in like two ponytails and braid them up. And then put them away with some bobby pins and take it down maybe a couple days later or a week. Or I'm like, or I might just rock it the whole two weeks. I'm like, that's just, that's, that's just what you do with protective hairstyles. If you want to hydrate your protective hairstyle, you know, I'm like, a good suggestion would be oil. Sometimes you can use water. I some, I'm like, I sometimes spray water every now and then, but I don't spray too much, you know. I'm like, that's what I just, I do. I don't, don't over moisturize. Like, don't do it. Like, you don't need a whole bunch of moisturizer on your head. You may think your hair is all fucking, you may think your hair is all brittle and dry if you don't put your, you know, if you don't put moisturizer in your hair like every freaking second. Like, no, honey. Yep, your stuff takes time to sit in and it just, it's, just, it's, just, it's doing its thing. Let it do its thing. You don't need to moisturize like, almost every single day otherwise you're just adding build up on your hair you put build up on your scalp and your hair strands don't over moisturize some products are oil based and if you over moisturize they can cause build up quickly and weigh your hair down i try to moisturize every you know probably two or three days but i do it more like every three days and every two because just for the simple fact you know i just don't want to over moisturize and sometimes my hair is good going you know up to three days without moisturizer being in again do keep your hair regimen simple your routine your whole little plan your agenda keep it simple don't have a whole bunch of products and all that other stuff. Like, you may think you need it, but you really don't. Like, you're gonna have too much of a good thing. Just like with the over-moisturizing, you're gonna have too much of a good thing. Like, just, like, like, please keep your regimen simple. You know, probably just, you know, get up to about four or five products stuck in your regimen and just keep it like that. Or maybe two, three, who knows what works for you. But keep it simple. Don't have a whole bunch of products. You may think you need like five detanglers and five different shampoos and like 10 different gels. You don't need it. You don't. You don't need all that in your regimen. Just keep it simple, love. And I promise you, your hair will flourish. Just find out what works for you and everything will be going smoothly. Don't be so quick to dismiss products. Like as soon as you get a product and you don't see no hair growth. In like a week, you're like, oh, I gotta throw this moisturizer away. No, honey, no you don't. You know, just things take time. Hair has to react to products. Some, pro some products will have your hair growing in like maybe 2.5 seconds. Other products will may have your hair, you know, growing within like three weeks. It just depends. 
but you must learn patience. You know, your hair just won't respond immediately to some products, and that is okay, you know? But you have to learn patience. Patience is key, and it's an important factor when it comes to having your natural hair. I tried many different oils in the past, for example, and I found out that argan oil works really good for my hair. And with coconut oil, it works, but it makes my head kind of, well, not my head, but, you know, my scalp, it just makes it kind of itchy. Just a little bit. Now, with olive oil, it makes my head really itchy. It makes my scalp really itchy, which is why I'm not doing it again. I'm not ever doing it again. I had that problem last week just because of the simple fact that I ran out of oil, so I used olive oil. And I'm not doing it no more. So that's why I just, no. Yeah. So that's what I found out for me. You know, argan oil is the best thing for my hair, really, and it makes it grow. Do be gentle with your hair. Now, I say this because I know it's some people out there who might have, you know, 4C hair, tight, coily hair, and you may think that you might need to freaking... But you don't have to do it. You don't have to like literally abuse your hair just to get them knots out and all that other stuff you don't have to do it really you know because honestly t the more tight and cool your hair the more fragile it is and 4c hair is the most fragile hair type so that's why you know it's important for like me to like be gentle but even if you don't have 4c hair if, even if your hair cool or even if your hair is like not you know tightly coiled you don't need to like you know abuse it either even if your sh even if your shit is like the loosest hair type don't abuse your hair stop it them not gonna get out take take your time and be patient like like seriously your natural hair is like a plant you must take care of it you can't be rough with a plant can you no you can't don't compare your hair to others. Now, loves, I know how hard it may be, you know, like I said before, you know, just, I'm like, you can't compare your hair to others. Everybody's hair is different. Even if me and another girl had 4C hair, I promise you, our hair probably ain't gonna be acting, you know, the same to, dip, you know, to different products and stuff. Our hair ain't gonna grow at the same rate because, you know why? Because genetics play a role. You know, it's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow, but genetics play a role. But like I said, you just have to find out what works for you. Just because her hair or his hair grows like, you know, like I said, in 2.5 seconds, doesn't mean that your hair is, you know, is just like, you know, is it's fine. You know, you just have to learn patience and you have to learn how to celebrate and embrace and love your hair. Because trust me, it took me some time to do the same thing too on um, my natural hair journey. I never thought my hair would grow or anything like that. I just thought it would always be the same length. But look at me now. My hair is like right here. When it's stretched and all that flat iron, it's about to right here. But I'm pretty sure when I get some ends, because I'm going to get an inch taken off. So it's just going to go up, up an inch, a little bit up the back. But it's all right because... I rather have healthy hair than shitty hair. Do section your hair. Section your hair because it is an easier way to detangle. You know, I'm like, honestly, the more sections you have, the easier it be to detangle. At the most, I, I detangle my hair into four sections, if not eight. Don't overheat. As much as y'all want to, you cannot flat iron your hair all the time. You cannot put excessive amount of heat on your hair all the time. You just can't do it. Cause your hair it ain't gonna it ain't gonna like it. You may not hear it, but it over time you can see that your hair ain't gonna like being overheated all the damn time. The bad thing about overheating is that it causes damage, big damage. It can easily break off your hair. Because the more dry your hair is, the more, you know, your hair is going to shed probably quicker or break off quicker. I mean, like, honey, you don't have to heat your hair up all the damn time. 
just ain't worth it. Don't sacrifice this beautiful gem on your head just so you can see your damn stretch or whatever the case may be. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't use regular towels. Instead of using a regular towel, it's important to use a t-shirt or a either microfiber towel. And lastly, guys, um, this is just a big overall one. You know, it's really like an umbrella on the don'ts. You know, I'm like, it's just, I'm like, this don't is really just an umbrella of over all the don'ts, really kind of, you know, don't over manipulate. Why don't over manipulate? Well, I'll tell you, dryness, build up, flaky scalp, and break it. Honey, you don't have to touch your hair all the time. I know some of us have it bad. I even have it bad myself. But you must learn not to touch your hair all the damn time. You must learn to just leave your hair alone. I learned with my hair that, you know, honestly, hair, I'm like, my natural hair just likes to be alone, well, left alone. And I think all natural hair just like to be left alone. It just wants to be doing its own thing. I'm like, you can't always do that because, you know, you got to get it right. But, you know, when it comes to, like, just leaving it alone after you're done washing it, detangling it, and all that stuff, that's a good thing. Just leave it alone and don't try to touch it. But guys, that's all the advice I have for y'all today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. For all my peoples out there, you know, I mean, like, like I said, even if you're just somebody who's like just bored as shit, I hope you enjoyed. You know, and for my girls or boys out there who probably may be transitioning or trying to have their natural hair, you know go in the right direction i'm like i hope you enjoyed this video too because i know how hard it was or how hard it is you know just you know going into the next step of being completely natural having to cut off all that damaged access is just like it's just like you don't want to let it go but it's the best thing to do hell i even thought i was gonna look like peter pan or a little boy when i was done and honestly i got so many good compliments and stuff Shit, I didn't feel bad after cutting all that off. I felt great. But as I always say, peace, serenity, and love. And I hope y'all enjoy y'all day. Mwah.